In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the isNA function in Google Sheets. So what this function does is it helps you control for NA errors. What it does is it checks whether a value is an NA error. And if it is, it's going to return true. Otherwise, it returns false. So the syntax of the function is very simple. It only has one argument, which is the value that you want to check for the NA error. So I'll show you how to do it here. So is NA. And then I'm going to check this value and we will paste the formula down. So you can see when it's an NA error, it returns true. So these kinds of errors, um, you get a lot of times with different lookup functions. Um, you can see I have this VLOOKUP here and if um, what I'm searching doesn't appear where I'm looking up, it returns this NA error. So the problem with NA errors is that when you do calculations with them, um, you can see that this does not work. So having different ways of controlling for these NA errors um, is useful for you in your spreadsheets because then you can kind of control for them. And um, if you need to make calculations with these uh, cells, you can control for that. So the is NA error helps you do that. Now, I showed you here just using it by itself, but it's actually not very often used by itself. It's usually used in combination with different if statements to do different things. So I'll just show you an example of what I have here. So in this example, I have an if statement. So if you don't know if, let me just type that out. If condition value if true value if false so what an if statement or if function does is it checks this log logical condition if it's true it's going to return the value that you set here for value if true if it's false it's going to return value if false. So just to show you what that looks like, let me see if, um, let me put something here. Okay. If this equals five, one else return true. So you can see since this does equal five, it returns one. And then if I was to change this to four, you can see it returns true. So that's an if statement, very simple. But now what I did here is for my logical condition, I put um, is NA and I put my lookup inside the is NA as what I'm checking for the is NA error. And then if it's true that it is an NA error, I'm going to return this. And if not, continue my lookup function. So you can see what that does here is um, if it's not an NA error, it's still going to look up um, the value. If it is, it's going to return this instead of returning NA error. So you can do other things with this. You can return a zero. And then if I paste that down, now I should be able to do a calculation with that, where before, if it was just returning an NA error, I could not. So that is um, the benefit of using is NA. There's also if NA, which is a different function, but it does something similar as combining if and is NA. But just learning how to control for these errors is definitely useful as you continue to use spreadsheets. So I'm going to paste a link to the blog post in the description of this video if you want to go through that. Otherwise, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.